welcome to the channel there we are this is a part one of a six part video i have promised you we have a first large box of cosmetics as i can see already i just literally opened it up it's not as full as the one i bought before but this was from a different a very different source so let's see what we have let's get this out of the way this is free packaging always glad to have some free packaging off it goes right okay yeah you can see i think that box is about half full but it's the quality not quantity in this case we'll find out uh, as you can see i'm ready with my usual boxes uh bigger boxes and the smaller boxes for smaller stuff because i never know what's in there um as you've probably seen me using those before i absolutely love those things um had them for literally for years about 10 years probably since we started the business they were like a pound for 10 at the time now probably yeah i don't know probably 10 pound for 10 but here we are so i got myself ready so let's have a look um again i do warn you it's probably going to be a long one maybe not as long as last time because obviously there's a lot of stuff there so i'm just going to get the stuff separated like usual um normally looking out for the best stuff for sale that i know box for ourselves and the baba and some random rubbish I'm gonna go in some smaller boxes hopefully in the small ones let's start so we have mama mio this is like amazing brand for all of you ladies if you ever had children ever used it this is like one of the good ones and quite expensive i think we are probably looking about 20 or 25 pound a box so let's see which one's going to be for sale box let's go for the biggest one okay and they look okay uh yeah there's no dates that i can see but of course you usually have to check the dates make sure everything's okay i've got avon uh that's going to be let's go for just a random rubbish box not not nothing's wrong with avon it's just not going to be my first priority all saints mm, perfumes maybe a gift set let's have a look yeah got a little perfume gift set big one and a little one i think we had something like that before but unboxed and i think we still should be able to get about 35 pounds for that one fingers crossed cow shed mother to be it'll be mummy's box then uh mother to be gut gift set <laughs> gift set uh, i promise you i haven't had the drink i know with the bar but i haven't had one yet um yeah again that probably be worth about 29 pounds i'll put them outside i've got another one shower milk it must be like a whole set in here again the shower milk probably be like maybe 19 pounds 19.99 we have something is escaping there comfort zone of oh, fragrance diffuser i love those little sticks the smelly sticks again the brand is quite good so still probably looking about 15 quid for that let's get the boxes out of the way a oh, glossy box hmm we know where they come from okay he's got a ted baker gift set in there look i didn't know the glossy box did the ted baker probably not but as I said, I've not um, the origin of those products is not been disclosed to me, unfortunately. So, yeah. Anyway, that's a good one. Ted Baker, love Ted Baker, and it sells really well. So, uh, I would assume the little gift set probably be about thirty pounds. Get stuff. We have uh, reusable makeup pads. Oh, don't know the value of that, but I think we had some before. I don't think I ever sold them. It's got the whole idea, right? The makeup pads you like use and throw away, considering they are recyclable. <laughs> anyway, just gonna be in the Avon box because I don't actually know the value. I don't think it's a lot. Uh, body lick, mm, and Summers can't sell and Summers. So herb, herbal essences shampoo. That's a bit grubby. Again, that's a high street stuff. Again, there's like a couple of grid in there, probably maybe a little bit less if you to buy it, but not gonna go on eBay for us. Uh, origins okay that's a good one that'll be moisturizer should be about 25 to 30 pounds again i'll have to check the dates later box is a bit dirty no idea where it's been but uh, okay we have some chinese god knows what i assume that's like a face cleaner thing don't know don't trust anything chinese as you probably know uh some weird shampoo. <laughs> Loves, yeah, I love that. Right. 
every time you see somebody is making an attempt and you know it's not really going to be worth a lot or probably at all sellable if somebody makes a label and there's such a poor resolution so you can see pixels on the thing which is not very good it automatically screams like somebody's you know somebody's spare bedroom making a shampoo so no thank you wouldn't put that anywhere in my hair uh, I'll pursue again I think they're about 7 on eBay so unless I'm gonna have a couple of them it's not really worth me selling that because of the postage so we can go in here hopefully we're gonna have some more to make bundles Schwarzkopf got to be that's a high street jobby couple of quid sorry that's what I'd say lash lift eyelash permanent kit never heard of them like before but anything that's to do with the eyelashes and the permanent stuff normally worth at least 10 to 15 pounds so i think i'll put this in a good box aha uh -huh. they were started with the chinese lashes let's do that i did last time you remember we had a lot of rubbish lashes and stuff like this it's gone into the bundle like 50p so if it's 50 of them it's gone for like 25 quid they fly out of the door uh, for the ladies they love using eyelashes it's a perfect way of getting them cheap it's through us right okay have pixie had that last time a little one's worth a tenner nice and sealed tropic uh again tropic sells really really well but we can't sell this on a business account so it's going to be a personal account uh smoothing cleanser it's about 17 pounds but this one's missing the lid so let's hope it's inside we've got some more lashes i have some banana a banana powder revolution yeah again not worth a lot but I'll put this with the cosmetics uh, again I can barely make out what it is some bronzing powder is really scratched there's no lid I don't know um, the label looks really poor so to me that screams cheap so I put this to the side for now right. we have sheer moisture um, masks they're worth about 11.99 some rubbish in there I'm sure before you were really wondering each box costed me a few hundred pounds uh, makeup used that's gonna go in there so yeah I'm gonna make up a few hundred out of each clinic for men okay bit beaten up but it's sealed looks okay um face wash 15 quid little makeup lipsticks I don't think I had this one before so I don't know I need to figure that one out I'm gonna put it into a different box to revolution because that looks like it should be worth a little bit more we have Bondi Sands uh, self time foaming water Bondi Sands sells really well on Amazon and eBay um, on average about 15 quid a go just needs a wipe but it's still sealed which is good and right uh, what we've got here again that's like a makeup brushes or something uh where should we have that let's put this in there there's a lot of that a lot of that I've got numbers on it you know chinese rubbish oh olay cream again nothing i don't know 7.99 maybe 8.99 i'll put in here ordinary caffeine solution you probably heard this by now they 8.99 to 9.99 sometimes more depending on what it is but they again if they're priced competitively they go pretty much the same day uh, I've got a squashed one to make sure they're okay after we have uh, Avalon it's got a bag underneath really okay uh, yeah I don't know it looks not particularly great Oh, let me guess a oh, white new lotions god we always get that they either oh yeah look mm, it's in the bag um yeah we can't sell you can't sell lightning skincare products on ebay uh, i don't know why but apparently you're not allowed so that's just like yeah a little bit worthless <sighs> some never heard of that before a little cream looks like it should be uh worthy something i think probably about 10 if i'm lucky everything's about 10 or 15 isn't it <laughs> okay we have okay okay this is like gotta be careful right the anything that's got uh the bridle here for the um the people blind people it's normally um ebay and amazon counter is 
uh, prescription medicine and be it a shampoo or cream that will remove this and I know there's loads of people still selling this but it's only a matter of time even if the item sells they will still then remove and notify you and penalize you for it so this is not going anywhere unfortunately uh, this is looks like this is a hair color I think yeah hair color vegan hair color cruelty free Hmm. Okay, anything vegan I think is normally called a value. I would put, don't know, never had that before. I'll put the right figure about seven ninety nine. Hopefully I'm right. Bio oil, it's only a mini one that's worth like eight quid. Oh, it's a lot of little things in there. Avon oil. Oh. Some, yeah, that stuff is just cheap. Oh, so far, Mama's not impressed. Mr. Assam. Uh, this is day and night cream. I think that should be worth 20 quid if I remember correctly. I still got some nail stuff. Uh, I'm gonna dump that in there. Oh, benefit. <laughs> you remember the last video? Right, let's have a look. I will do the video on telling you spotting the fake an original if you don't know already and this is a fake i'm gonna put this aside i've got original one myself i will do the video because i know a few people ask how do i tell the difference with the benefits and especially their real mascaras because they've been around for so long chinese have attempted really hardly to um to copy but they're still shortfall in the quality so it's very easy to tell i'll put them aside and i'll do you uh ladies and gents a video if you want to please put down in comments if you do want me to do the videos of um how do i tell the fakes in many products especially like really popular ones don't forget to thumbs up and comment so i know you want me to do that so i put them aside okay we have uh some looks like i have empty oil that's rubbish really where do we have rubbish brown oil another just mm, just crap oh dear his mama disappointed uh we've got avino baby body wash we'll probably keep this for a little baba put that aside here uh we've got curls conditioner never heard of this before this is really weird. Last time I had loads of stuff I knew. This time it's a lot of stuff I don't. I'm going to put this aside. Again, looks like it should be worthy. At least a tenner. Oh, we have number seven. Cleanser. Mini, mini, mini. Hmm, don't know. Cute. 7 99 at least anyway. Number seven sells really well. Oh, I've got another lash kit. Uh, okay, goes in there. I see we've got a lot of like a foot mask and face, ma <laughs> face and hair masks. Body shops, again, probably bundle them up and sell them as a bundle. Right, so, some more of, let's have a look, see what's in there. They are probably brushes on there, yeah. Super quality, made in China. Mm. Boot sale special, 50p. Looks like, yeah, again, just Chinese stuff. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Little kitty socks, though. Look. Okay, nothing to do with cosmetics, but very cute. Made in China. That is very sweet. I'm going to be keeping that one. We have another lot of makeup brushes. Do you know the, f the really bad quality brushes, Chinese brushes, is really not worth buying all the hair little hair falls out and yeah it's just it's worth spending a decent amount of money on a decent brush that lasts you for a very long time um lashes again we have oh god 750 written on there already it says brow kit uh made in china max and spencer's mm, might be able to flog it for like six quid but all right devalogica a really popular brand if you guys know or don't know but quite often every time whatever time i get in cosmetics they are normally out of date or unsealed uh this one is sealed i cannot see the date in there so i don't know i'll have to either open this or take my chances okay anyway that'll be good and this is skin smoothing cream 
I'm pretty sure they're about £20, so not too bad. Another Bondi Sand, Self Tan. Again, still sealed, which is good. That's another one. So that'd be another 15 quid at least. We have some, oh, Bare Minerals, Natural Oasis. Okay, again, Bare Minerals, um, it does get faked, not as much as the Benefit and Clinique, but it's still worth a check. Um, so I've got to open it up later, have a look. But it looks like a nice little gift set. Little, little eyeshadow thing. So um, that'd be worth maybe 15 quid. We have this. I've seen that before. Uh, they look like a little eyeshadow uh, replacement. They look like a cotton bud, if you can see that or not. And you've got that little pencil. You put them in there, use them up, and like throw them away. I find them very difficult to work with, but um, that should be worth at least about ten. So, oh, super duper Chinese, Chinese special, Chinese special oil or something. Normally too large, certain body parts. That's all they are. Uh, fudge. That's absolutely fudged, so that's good for the bin to be fair, but not for the bin. When I say bin, it's not going to be bin, it's going to be like sold through the brood cell or given away to like, you know, a local food bank or something. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to give stuff away. It's going to be sold or used. Um, Sarah V, again, um, little creams that probably be worth the 10. It's quite a popular brand for like eczema and dry skin, so it always sells really well. Uh, water-based lubricant again you cannot sell oh my god you know you cannot sell the like sex products on ebay anymore and i feel my heart goes out to those people who run their businesses full-time solely selling like adult toys and entertainment stuff because obviously now it's no longer that means they cannot sell and they probably lose their business unless they have another means of selling it so my heart does go out to those guys so yeah, eBay obviously clearly can dictate what they do, uh, they do what they want, sorry, and yeah, to stop in whatever category they don't want people to sell in, that's what they want to do, that's what they do. Um, more eyelashes. Oh, it's a cotton bud. Wow, wonderful. And I like it, girl. We've got NARS lip gloss. It looks new. Uh, let's put in the cosmetics. Sorry, um, about seven ninety nine. Got number seven. Some more number seven. Again, with the little number seven bits because they're tiny. They look like came from the gift set. If they're all okay, give them a wipe and make them into a little travel size bundle. If somebody wants to travel somewhere, because now you can. Uh, we have Burberry liquid velvet. Again, Burberry uh, does get faked a lot. It's very easy to tell generally by the quality of the box and the embossed. If you can hear that. Normally the fake stuff have a shiny box that looks uh, perfectly good. You've got the embossed number, so that looks okay. Uh, that should be worth 15 quid. I'll put that in this one. So that's a good one. Oh, I've got some v hair removal. Uh, we've got, what is this, SBC, Extreme Hydrating Face Serum. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Date, December 21. Um, it look, It's new, it's sealed. It's just like suspicious when somebody put like a sticker on there. I know the SBC, I'm pretty sure they do like the salon, um, like hair removal stuff, but that looks a bit dodgy, it looks like somebody made that, although underneath is shiny, so um, I have to have a look into that one, I'll put this aside and then gotta investigate. Ugh. We had a leakage. It's early, yeah. I'm gonna put this, mm, put in there. Yeah, leakages are never good, they ruin stuff. Oh, we've got some loads of nail files. Again, that's something, because I do my own nails, so I keep them anyway. Um, some brushes, oh. What are they? No, it's Chinese again. Sometimes you're lucky you can find some branded brushes that could be worth like 10, 15 quid each. But not in this instance, just rubbish. Percy Nobleman Beard Oil. Uh, I don't think you can sell Percy on eBay. I know some people do, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Well, not as a business, so that's gonna be going on personal account. Um, about 10 quid. So we have that comfort zone, little face mask again. Probably be like eight pounds worth, depending how many of them in there. Some more Chinese brushes, uh, some more ordinary stuff. Ordinary, we're going about tenner. Uh, Bayer Minerals mascara, it's used, so that's gonna go there. 
we have Becca. Oh, Becca is a good one. If it's brand new. No, you can see, obviously, straight away, you can see the pumps being pumped. That's a shame. Nice color foundation, but as we all know, you're not allowed to sell used uh, cosmetics on eBay, which is bloody right. Um, do you know what some people still do? Really dodgy, really dodgy. Uh, let's go there. We have Mugu Natural Fresh Cream Deodorant. We had that before, so again, that's $7.99. We have another Mr. Assam uh, Day Night Cream. I'm pretty sure we said it was about 20 quid if we're lucky. Got some more rubbish things. We have, what do we have? Ugh. Train is that? I don't mind to say what's what it is. Something to do with feminine hygiene. Don't even want to look at that. Gross. Okay. We have RCMA powder. Oh my goodness. You know, um, this thing it was like people and all the beauty professionals rave about this. This is a setting powder. It's really good, but I do fake this hell of a lot. Um, that actually looks quite okay and there's a big size. Um, because of the fakes, those things were smaller size, normally 25 quid. When they introduced the fakes, the prices dropped down to about like 7 99 if you're lucky. Um, the reason when they fake them, they actually stick a white sticker rather than a printed barcode on the side. So, and a lot of Chinese writing. So if you do get one of those with a sticker, they're just plain paper sticker with the Chinese gobbledygook and a barcode, it, it's fake. So that one looks okay, which is good. We have, oh yes, Orib shampoo. Oh, it's such a posh little brand, right? Um, I know it's only one little shampoo. It got cute little bottles, like embossed. I love that. We had shampoo and conditioner before. I think, if I'm still correct, it's been a little while since we had that. We're probably looking about 25, maybe 30 quid just for the shampoo alone. Hopefully, hopefully, the prices haven't dropped. We have Declaw, little cream. This is Duck Sport Targeter. I think they're about 17 pounds on Amazon. Have to check the dates. Um, we have Cantu Curling Cream for Kids. That's not worth a lot, unfortunately, unless I make the bundle. Oh, hand disinfecting gel, wonderful. We have, what do we have? Again, um, somebody's handmade cosmetics so much of the obviously all the guys started doing like um their own obviously doing a lockdown to their own brands of stuff it's very difficult to um, i think get it out of there but yeah when you got the uh yeah anyway that's not gonna have anything unless they're already well known it's not gonna happen some headbands we have a uh, high street thing couple of quid so far, my box of shit is bigger than a box of stuff for sale, just about, so... Oh, crikey. Uh, Matrix, Miracle Creator, Tenor. We're slowly adding up though, aren't we? Viviscal, Conditioner, I love that stuff. This is like, for thin hair, this is the best thing since sliced bread, and I'm keeping that, because it's buggered anyway, so... Good one for me, we have... Oh, coming to the end of the box. Coffee scrub. Again, Bean Buddy. You never heard of this? Expiring May 21, so that's out of date. So that'll be me having that. Um, we've got another ordinary multiple peptide serum. Oh, for hair. I've seen that before. Sometimes something is a little bit bigger, worth more than a tenner, maybe 15 quid. So. Okay, some more Chinese rubbish. Another opposite. So now I have two. I can sell them for 15 quid for both. But I'll have a look until I get the other boxes and see. Some more head rubbish. Some more Chinese stuff. We have eye patches. If you make a permanent eyelashes. Again, I've got some of them kicking around upstairs. Um, they're not worth a lot, but if you have a lot of them, you can still charge like 15, 20 quid. Go in there. Oh, we just have, looks like we just have some rubbish left. I've got working hands. That's still sealed, which is good. Again, if you get a few of them, generally they're like 4 99 on eBay, but three pound postage, you're never gonna sell it individually anyway. So you can see really the trouble of when you do get stuff, although the value is there for individual items, um, to get the money back, because obviously after the posting and everything else is pretty hard, especially 
if the value of the product pretty much the same as it costs to post it. So you have to think clever and do the bundles. Then there's some more brushes. Oh, this is bubble. Oh, well, another Mamma Mia. Yay, Tammy Rub Butter. I do hope they're all new and I do hope they're in date. But again, the Tammy Rub Butter, I think, is £35 for the um, yeah, 120 mil. So I'm pretty sure they're 35 quid. So that's a good one. We have uh, some little samplers. Arbon, they're quite popular for a little tiny little sample thing. It's quite expensive if it's a full size, but for little samples, sometimes we're still looking potentially if it's a couple in there, it could be still worth like seven quid. And they go through the large letter, so that's good. We have empty box, we have some. It looks like such a teeth actually, <laughs> really pink ones. Um, some little nails, that's just a bit of a nonsense. We've got some face masks, Seventh Heaven, they're really good. Again, like, uh, if you've got a few of them on eBay, get away with charging them at pound a piece. So if you've got 10 of them, 9.99, that's the really going rate for them. And obviously free postage because people don't want to pay. And then we have some, shit. Polish Choice, okay. Polish Choice is good, but again, that's a tiny thing. Do you know what sometimes, actually, funnily enough, the little things like this, sometimes, sometimes could be worth like 20, 30 quid. All depends on the brand. Um, Polish Choice is not unfortunately one of them, but it's still probably be worth like fiver and hopefully get through a large letter. Gotta make the most money out of that lot, so. Uh, grow out, growth oil for hair. Never seen this before. There's a lot of this out now, everything to grow. All that is made in America. If it wasn't made in China, it goes straight into their box. But I've got a feeling that probably could be worth maybe 10, 15 quid. And literally, we've got a couple of makeup bits. Let's see, we've got my mini Clarins. What is that? Little Glow Serum L'Oreal. We've got LA Girl. Just sort of high street stuff left, to be fair. Uh, we got yeah i think to be fair guys and girls i've got lid didn't we miss a lid somewhere i think we did somewhere there well okay and we've got acti labs oh my goodness uh this is cleansing gel that little samples again if i can find a few of those um people love this brand it's similar to like avon you have to have some it's american i think i think um you basically get a group of people, you buy the sample stuff and then you like sell this like an A1 and you only representatives can sell this. And then I actually had something for sale before quite a while back and I had an email from a couple of the representatives that they, are, they were selling this. And now uh, only representatives can sell this. No, it's an eBay unless the Actilabs themselves email me and tell me I'm going to be selling them. So yeah, good luck with that. Um, yeah, there's a few there. And it's quite often, I don't know if you do sell, like quite often people and pretend to be a company, but an email from sort of weird Yahoo email address, you know, like wife, wife from home at yahoo.com and say, so, you know, you're selling my product. Yeah, okay, then next time trying to dis disguise your email a little bit better than that, because nobody's going to believe that. And I don't, but it happens all the time. The competition emails you pretend to be companies and people try to pretend to sue you. Like, you know, if you don't remove the product, it's like, well, this is not the way to go about it because people generally who do have the right to remove your products, they get in touch with eBay and it's done secretly and you just get a notification and saying, sorry, you've been done, duh, here we are. So, right, ladies and gentlemen, this is now concludes the box of, the first box of stuff. Um, to be fair, not too bad considering it's a half half a box, half and half 50-50 sellable, so mm, could have been better, but I suppose couldn't be worse. I still got another five boxes to go. Um, I know I think somewhere I've been promised to have some higher value items in there. Clearly I don't think it's this box, but I don't think it's that bad. So what I'm gonna do now is get changed and go upstairs and list that lot and start getting some money we're coming in. Um, thank you again for watching. Hopefully you haven't found it too boring. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the videos and comment if you want me to do a f how to spot the fake um, products. And thank you again for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.